Zeta Halo and why it's going to be important for Halo Infinite and why having the setting of Zeta Halo might allude to the return of the Flood, a little bit of information about the Primordial and a little bit about Mendicant Bias as well. So some very prominent lore characters to be mentioned in this video. Now, as we all know, the Halo Infinite trailer was recently released and yeah, it had some very little to say about actual Halo, but we got a sense of the feel of the game, at least in the, at least a little bit of the art style, but we may have actually had a hint of where this game takes place because of this little tidbit right here. Now, if you hear from that walkie talkie, it's actually producing Morse code, which actually that Morse code translates to essentially SOS Zeta Halo GRD, meaning save our souls, which is the rescue call Zeta Halo GRD standing for ground. So on the ring itself, which led me to thinking, well, I'm a little interested about Zeta Halo. We've never been on it. It's never been, sh it's been alluded to games. It's been technically shown in previous games like in Halo 3 but just a holographic image of it but not actual gameplay or actual like images of it so this is the first time we may have actually confirmed seeing Zeta Halo in a Halo game. This could possibly be the Halo ring that was alluded to at the legendary ending of Halo 5 if you do remember we get to see a Halo ring at the legendary ending and that's about it. We didn't know much about it at the moment. So stay tuned throughout the video because we're going to give you some information about the Zeta Halo ring, a, lot, a little bit of history about it, a little bit of lore, and how will it affect the potential storytelling of Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these informational, slightly speculative videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helped out this video and the channel gets more notoriety so more people are informed about Zeta Halo and what's coming for Halo Infinite. And if you want to, you know, learn more about Halo and just in general, we're going to be constantly uploading content on this channel so I highly suggest you subscribe because it's going to be pretty good. So what makes Zeta Halo so special? Well, unlike the other six remaining Halo installations, which were constructed as a separate array of rings with a diameter of about 10,000 kilometers, Installation 07 is the only surviving ring from the original main array of 12, 30,000 kilometer wide Halo rings. However, Installation's diameter uh, was reduced down to 10,000 kilometers after some uh, some serious uh, situations happened with that ring, but it basically was reconstructed back to 10,000. Though much like the other Halo rings, Installation 07 or Zeta Halo served a secondary purpose as a life worker preserve for biological specimens from across the galaxy as part of a conservation measure. So this was a little bit of a safe haven for people when those Halo rings go off, at least when you're on this ring, you'll be okay. Zeta Halo was primarily dedicated for the humans, being a home of various species and subspecies of the human genus as well, alongside numerous fauna and flora, so basically animals and plants. And that's why we saw in the trailer um, some glyphs right there that we could not, no one's been able to truly be able to decipher those. I did jokingly in my trailer breakdown, but no one's really been truly be able to break those down. I think this might be some human writing that's been written on those walls that no one's ever seen before. I mean, that's what very similar to what would happen like in uh, we've seen in uh, real life with uh, ancient humans writing glyphs on the wall to kind of tell a story of some sort. Also, I should mention all the uh, animals and hu potential humans that are on this halo ring are about 100,000 years old. So this is before any recorded history, some ancient humans, potentially humans, uh, ancient wildlife. Like I mentioned in my uh, breakdown video, those rhinos that were shown in the trailer were actually probably developed off of some concept art that was from a previous um, you know people just writing out like what ancient rhinos might have looked like uh, I broke, pro broke that down in my uh, trailer breakdown as well as uh, it kind of confirmed that these are some ancient uh, wildlife that's going to be in this halo ring but here's some really cool lore stuff that why I feel installation 07 is going to be a very interesting place to take place for a halo game uh, this is going to be during the floor forerunner flood war master builder faber placed installation 07 along with the other 11 rings in the original array under the control of the contender class AI, Mendicant Bias. 
and one of the previous extensions of the AI was placed on the ring right there. The master builder broke a deal with the librarian which we met in Halo 4 and began to use the humans on this Halo ring as specimens for his uh, flood experiment. So he was making experiments with the flood with humans. Now the flood have not been completely eradicated from the Zeta Halo. Apparently some of them might be just, you know, dormant or kind of well contained, very similar to how it was in Halo CE where they were contained and then one soldier messed up everything and then the whole galaxy went into chaos because of it. And no so knowing that there were flood experiments taking on place on this ring and as I read that not all of the flood has been completely eradicated from the ring. It's pretty much like well contained probably and a very small amount. But as we know from a quote in Halo 3, one single flood spore can destroy a species. One spore is all it needs. Now another very interesting thing about this ring is that the primordial was captured and placed in a cage deep within the chamber deep underneath the installation's surface and not much has been heard about the primordial since then. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Like this guy is one of like the most like original beings ever in the Halo universe. This guy is not much is known about him, but he's very prominent. Uh, he's like basically like a proto grave mind, super grave mind kind of guy, you know, can control people with his mind kind of stuff. Um, he did a lot of stuff with Medicaid Bias on this Halo ring. And so, I have a feeling we might need to you know, probably search for some answers possibly about what's on Halo, Zeta Halo, how to get off of it or what to do. We may have to get involved with, you know, contacting the Primordial, who, uh, not necessarily the nicest of guys, but it could be one of those things where an enemy becomes an ally for Master Chief or something like that. Just so, I'm just kind of speculating at this point, uh, saying like, like I said, not much known about the Primordial besides he's potentially like a proto-grave mind, crazy mind control abilities, and has kept his consciousness alive for over 10 million years. Though this wouldn't be the first time humans have stepped onto Zeta Halo, uh, back in 2555, Oni launched the Zeta Halo project and a researcher dispatchment of approximately 300 scientists of multiple fields went to Zeta Halo to study it more. That's probably why when you saw in the trailer, there were some maybe abandoned structures, some uh, pelicans that look like they've been there for quite some time, some vegetation grown into them. Like uh, it's apparently like uh, that's gonna be taking place in 2560, which is actually two years after the events of Halo 5, according to uh, what the bit the dashboard on that pelican that was in the trailer right there. And so, uh, possibly something bad happened to these researchers. Maybe they deserted everything, or I'm not quite sure. I mean, obviously we don't know. So a lot of speculation there, but so we maybe have some research on some older humans, maybe some you know re, you know development on some when humans came when Oni came to the ring to research it more. Uh, there's a lot more to know about Zeta Halo, and uh, we'd be back to the sense of uh, awe and astonishment and finding out new things of within the Halo universe. That sense of exploration, which is, hasn't really been captured since Halo 1. So in summary, how will this affect the gameplay and storytelling of Halo Infinite? Well, one thing I almost can guarantee there's going to be a return of the Flood. Uh, I mean, we even had the Flood in Halo Wars 2 which is great. Uh, the Flood would add a nice variation of uh, different types of enemies. And I'd love to see you know, how the Flood would look in the Slip Space Engine. That would look amazing. Um, another thing I really feel like we're gonna probably touch on with Halo Infinite, uh, if we're gonna be on the Zeta Halo, is that we're gonna be probably be in contact with the Primordial. This guy, like I said, 10 million years old, proto-grave mind, a uh, guy who can like control people with his mind, like super strong like omnipresent almost kind of do like he's like a god basically so it's gonna be pretty interesting to inter if we get a chance to interact with that guy and also that humans and oni were on this ring three years prior to the events of halo 5 
And so we might come across people maybe in hiding, maybe some ancient humans or something like that, or maybe some ancient, you know, come across some more ancient wildlife, things like that. It should feel almost like oh, familiar because it's like very Earth-like stuff that's going to be there, but almost, but very almost alien because of how ancient things will be on this ring. Now, this video is really like a TLDR of what is fully known about this ring. If you want to know more, click in the link in the description down below to the Halopedia page where I got most of this information from. They go into great detail and a little great detail on the lore as well about this. I was just trying to give you some focus this more on what kind of implications this could have on Halo Infinite and its gameplay and storytelling. So everybody, that's about everything I have to say about Zeta Halo right now. I feel like this could have some potential, you know, d discovering the past kind of feel with the storytelling that's going to be coming with Halo Infinite. And I feel like it's going to really bring it back to those feels of you know, CE. This could essentially be like a, almost a recreation of CE, almost like a uh, Star Wars Force Awakens of Halo. That's what I'm kind of feeling with this game from what we've known so far about Zeta Halo and also what the little tidbits of information that we got from the trailer as well. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you stuck around the video this long, you probably enjoyed it enough to where you feel like maybe give it a like. That would greatly help out the channel a lot, help out this video get some more notoriety so more people know about Zeta Halo and the uh, atmosphere that's going to be created for Halo Infinite. Leave a comment down below if you know anything else about Zeta Halo or that, about that trailer that you would like to share with anybody. I can probably use that information for another video as well. If you want to stay up to date with any Halo Infinite or Halo 5 news as well or any kind of gameplay or anything involving Halo, stay subscribed to the channel. We're going to be uploading content constantly for you guys right here. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.